All right. Welcome to Firearms of America. Today is another episode of Amateur Hour, and today's drill is going to involve a vehicle. Very straightforward drill. I have uh, one target over there. I'm going to be slow on the first round, and I'll try to hit it through the passenger side window with my right hand pistol. I'm shooting my Glock 44 22 LR. And then once I get here, I stop again through the passenger window. I shoot this target right here. Couple of rounds. I get out of the vehicle. I get into the cover position. I address the threat one more time. Look around, holster weapon. Run to the point right there where there is a stashed bow and arrows. Address the threat one more time while I'm moving. Once I see it's safe to shoot and there's enough berm behind the target and then hit the box with arrows just because shooting bow is fun. So today's nice weather was just observing some solar eclipse almost 2000 years ago Jesus Christ was crucified. And on that day, there was a solar eclipse. And it is, a, it is a good sign for all of us to look at and remember that sometimes the times can get dark, but the darkness will not prevail. The evil will not prevail in this world. And as followers of Jesus Christ, we know it and always remember it. Okay, so let the drill begin. I have no idea how it's gonna go. So I'll just do my best, go slow, get the round in the chamber. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hopefully I don't hit my car. <laughs> That'll be nice. Okay. Efficient. We'll go slow on the first one. Get that out of the way. So there's the target that we're supposed to be hitting on the move. Well, I'm supposed to be hitting on the move. Alright, didn't hit my car. Good move. arrows oh yeah good luck with the helmet come on would be nice to already wear it but I don't think I can oh if I got to put my gloves that's not gonna feel good but my mistake so it is what it is. Ooh, that was close. Got 12 arrows. Oh, man. A little bit higher up. And the sun comes out. Ooh, and we got the hit. Oh, that was way too, too high, okay? Yeah. Oh, I touched it, but didn't get in. Oh man, did I hit it? I think I did. Nice. Oh, that one kind of shaky. Oh, just, just a little bit not enough.
grass a little bit higher up and there we go and there we go and that's it okay time for briefing okay so uh i did get the car that's a huge plus and uh, surprisingly i did put a few arrows to that box which is definitely a pleasant surprise i forgot to put on my gloves so shooting pistol was comfortable but not shooting the bow so i have one two three four five gotta work with what i have <laughs> so let's do a little faster round this time and uh yeah looks like the uh still a little bit of a solar eclipse always wanted to try to do a solar eclipse drill so here we go great opportunity yeah shooting bow gloves help <laughs> and i apologize if the camera angle is going to look weird again they usually do yeah so with the car ideally you want to take a cover behind the engine block right so most of the times most situations is going to be the front of the car but i don't have an engine block not in the front not in the back the motors they sit somewhere at the bottom so i would probably have the better cover spot just behind like the rims and that's really it because all of this is just going to go straight through but i didn't really concentrate that much on taking uh ballistic cover more so visual cover in this vehicle so yeah and i'm not sure what's going on with my guys let me address it should have left it where they are yeah i'm still working on my helmet as you can see it's uh it's a work in progress kind of a little bit of a mess so we'll just with that hopefully one day yeah see everything matters the goggles matter the ear protection which I don't have on this helmet so I have to use still the earplugs and earplugs are not good at all <laughs> because you have no environmental awareness there is no you're just you hear your own basically noise that you're making all this jiggling everything around it if that's what you hear so definitely not good all right so i'm gonna put my uh bow back let's check out the arrow see how many hits so this from here is supposed to be about I would say like 80 feet because from here to here is 55 feet and from here to there it's about 70 feet so that should be around 80 I guess close one that was a good one this one's a bit low Oh, that's gonna be dirty. Dirty! Oh, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There should be two more. Should there be two more or no? Yes, there's one more. Well, we're one arrow down, so 
I'll find it later. I really like to wear this while in the car, but I don't think I can. Let's see. Let's see if it's doable. I don't think it's doable. Do I have a round in the chamber? Yes, I do. Let me take out the magazine. <laughs> Not really. Oh, wait a second. How about that? That's not bad. That might work a little better. See, that's why you do these drills. <laughs> okay, round number two. Two rounds, two rounds, get out, one round, run, one round. Okay, this is what I have. Let's roll. numbers sorry that was numbers but I do have a review on it so if you want to check it out it's a good holster Can address this thread, but let's see if I can put this on quicker. Yeah, that's a whole lot better. Okay, can address this with a with an arrow, but I want. <laughs> oh. You know what I found? It's really weird. But when you're deaf with these earplugs, I can't really shoot. See? I gotta hear it. I don't know, it's weird, but when you hear... Yeah. When you hear it, it works. When you don't hear it, it's bad. There we go. Ah, that was a shaky arrow and that's my that's my left hand being all shaky oh that was straight but just a little bit above okay there we go yeah what are you doing drone this drone is freaking weird man distracted me look what it's doing it's flying by itself somewhere shoot the freaking drone instead all right i missed the last two but that's because of the drone <laughs> okay so let me quickly uh retrieve the stuff i have no idea what the drone is doing but that's all right one two three four a little better this time but not by much and the rest i'll find yeah, yeah keep it Okay, so a few things that I've learned. It's uh, quite a fun drill. <laughs> Shooting from a car. But really the most, I think, learning 
was the archery because when you're deaf because of these things, it's not good. Just like when you're deaf to the good word from the good Lord. After all, all of this and anything else that we do is completely and utterly useless unless we're doing it, unless we know why we're doing it. And uh, it is only through Jesus Christ that you can understand why you are doing anything, why other people around you are doing anything, why you live through the life that you lived that got you to this point and preparing you for the next point. The difference is whether you already accepted Jesus Christ and from now on you know what you're doing and where you're going. You don't know where you're going, but you know wherever He is going to bring you is going to be the place exactly where you need to be because that is the Father's Cup that is prepared for you. Don't let anybody to mix in their sour wine into the cup that your Heavenly Father prepared for you. So God bless everyone, thank you for watching. As always, if you have any ideas for some drills, I'd appreciate them. If you need any ideas, I'd be happy. But remember, this is called Amateur Hour for a reason, so I would not take any of this as uh, anything. So God bless everyone, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.